Welcome everybody, Chef Casey here with the Yocha Dihi Winter Nation. Welcome you back to the Putwin Kitchen Cooking Series. I have a great recipe to finish off the month of November for the Native American month. We're gonna do fry bread, strawberry shortcake. Now fry bread is kind of, I wanna say a staple, but it's kind of a, an unwanted staple. Fry bread was a commodity. It was part of the, part of the food supply that came through when, when Native tribes were going into reservation-based living. Um, it was uh, one of the commodities that the U.S. government had given to the tribes. It was flour, lard, and that's about it, you know, give or take. So they, of course you got to get creative and you got to find ways to make these recipes or utilize these ingredients in recipes, I should say. And this is one of the ways that they've, they've they found a way to utilize this commodity. It's a fry bread, so it's a... It's not a yeast-based dough, it's more of a flat dough, but they fry it, which gives it this puffiness. Um, it's, it's an easy dough to make, a little bit of flour, a little baking powder, a little water, and a little olive oil, of course. So let's get going, make this real quick. We'll do about a cup, a cup and a half of flour, get a little bit of baking powder in there. Make sure to whisk that together first, make sure it's all incorporated. We'll get a little warm water or room temperature water, warm water, room temperature water. Gotta see how that goes. Then I'll incorporate a little bit of olive oil. We'll get my bench scrape and we'll kind of just bring it all together. This is kind of a dough you kind of work in. You kind of see how the consistency is going. And if the, if the dough is a little too dry, you can always add more water. If it's a little too wet, you can always add more flour. This one's looking a little on the dry side, so let's go ahead and add more, a little bit more water. Right, just remember you can always add water, but you can't take it out. And the dough will kind of tell you when it's ready, once it comes together. You kind of feel it. It's still a little on the dry side. I'm going to incorporate a little bit more oil. See how that goes. Fry bread is, is a staple all over Indian country. They make fry bread tacos. They do fry bread uh, desserts. This is going to be a dessert, but this one's going to be uh, a little play on a traditional dessert, strawberry shortcake. I'll switch this out. And it should look more once it's done. More appropriate to this style of dough. We could bring this out. I'm not going to use all of this, but you kind of work it. take my knife I'm gonna cut it cut it right in half and you want to roll little balls because they're gonna be rolling them out almost like almost like uh, tortillas but not quite tortillas that's another version they used to make with this they used to make tortillas this was their tortilla uh, the fry bread was their how they ate they had to put the food on top of it and that was their vessel so we'll cut little maybe like two three ounces Some of these look a little big. Again, flour, flour, flour. Always want a flour. So if you want to, you can roll them out. Right, I have a traditional roller here. Right, if you wanted to, you could go this way. Just depends on how thick you want the dough. Um, I want my dough to be a little bit on the fluffy side. So I'm gonna do a little bit thicker. But I'm actually going to just leave them about like that size. So while this is resting, we got to get our fryer station set up. So we're going to do lots of oil. And they just turn into little clouds, little fry bread clouds. 
They don't have to be completely consumed in the oil. You can pan fry them. And they're real quick. You're just looking for color on the outside. I like to puff up. Just flip this one. Flip that one. You don't want to crowd your pan. You don't want to put too much in there because you don't, you're going to cool your temperature down and it's going to start to steam. They fry fast. Like almost like beautiful little native donuts. Nice and puffy. Crispy on the outside, light and fluffy on the inside. This type of cuisine, this type of cooking is all throughout California, New Mexico, Nevada, Idaho, Colorado, Oregon, Montana's, the Dakotas. It's all the same ingredients, just each state kind of took a twist and did different, different variations of the fry bread. We'll let those sit and we can start working on our pastry cream. So for this pastry cream, I'm gonna do, an, I'm gonna do a, almost like an olive oil mousse. So I'm gonna incorporate olive oil in everything, of course, because we're in the house of oil, We've gotta pay homage to the oil. Um, there's gonna be a beautiful mousse. I'm gonna use a little mascarpone cheese to help thicken it up. A little mascarpone, a little heavy cream. And then I'm gonna add a vanilla-based custard to it. We'll whip it up, and then we'll spread our, we'll spread our fry bread. We'll chop some fresh strawberries, and we'll kind of make it look beautiful. A little mascarpone, a little olive oil. I use olive oil in a lot of my baking, a lot of my pastry, a lot of the sweets. We make ice cream with it, panna cottas with it. Olive oil and cream really go well together. A little bit of heavy cream to help thin the mascarpone out. We'll whisk this up. Get this nice and whisked. Looking for like a little bit of stronger peak than that, right? You see the peak? That's a, a very weak peak. You're looking for a peak. This is a peak. So you're looking for it to kind of be stiffened up. And the colder it is, the stiffer it would be. That looks pretty good. So let's incorporate some of our whipped cream. Gently fold it in. You see it's starting to thicken up a little bit too. And then we'll incorporate some of our custard. And with the custard, I like to fold my custard in, so no more whisk. I just like to gently fold everything together because you work so hard on your whipped cream. If you go in there and frantically stir everything up with the whisk, it might, you might deflate it, might break it. So you just like to casually just kind of just Fold it over. Until all that custard is incorporated. Stir it up. Until you have your beautiful pastry cream. Beautiful. So now that we have our pastry cream ready to go, we can go ahead and cut a little bit of our strawberries. This is a a resemblance of what they would have done, what could have been done. Fresh, veg fresh berries are always foraged. Fresh berries are always sought after. They were looked for, um, just, like, just like any wild game or meat. They were a treasure. Just some nice slices. You can dice this up if you wanted to. I'm gonna do slices. So now that we have our berries done, let's come back to our fry bread. Still nice and hot. Smear the, the pastry cream on top. Do a nice, beautiful dollop. Very rustic presentation. And be careful with the fry bread still hot. Your pastry cream will still, will melt a little bit on you. It'll slide off. 
And then we'll come back with our strawberries. Very rustic dessert, meant to be, meant to be eaten open-faced, palm of your hand, dive right into it. Nothing fancy, I think it should be kept that way. I don't think this is a fancy dish, I think this is what it is, it's fry bread. It's a commodity that was given during the times of reservations. So I think we need to kind of honor the rustic aspect of it. We'll come back through with some honey. So here you have it, native fry bread, fresh mascarpone, olive oil mousse, fresh cut strawberries, beautiful presentation, rustic through and through, a reminder of the times, but uh, hopeful for tomorrow. Thank you for joining me, Chef Casey of the Putwin Kitchen, wishing you all the best. Thank you.